All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Thor News. Saturday night, technical difficulties, hangout. It is that Thor of Thor News here with you. Now, I have no idea what I'm going to say, uh, except for my technical difficulties are still ongoing. Also, I wanted to include that this week and even 2016 has been extremely challenging for me. It seems like every day has been a challenge or three, uh, and that my patience is being tested every single day. Now, on that note, I would also note that one of the core tenets of screenwriting is how do you create a hero? You put them in a tree and then you th then you throw rocks at them. Meaning that you create problems all along the way. You make them victims. You uh create obstacles that they must overcome. So, though days and months and years like these may be an extreme test, and I feel like I am going crazy, and that I cannot handle it anymore, and I've reached my breaking point. These are the days that forge who we are. Moments of character in life are rare. They're the anomalies in life that come about. Like when you see a, a house on fire and you hear a child screaming. Do you run in or do you stand there and call for help or do you just keep walking? You won't know until you're in that situation. And that there truly only maybe eight moments of character in a person's life. And that you won't know who you are and other people won't know who you are until those moments come about. So, I am not perfect, but I strive to be as awesome as possible. Because life is too short for anything else. I can remember when I was a kid, uh, this may surprise you, but I was obsessed with Star Wars and superheroes. And then somewhere in my teens, I realized that not every kid dreamed of being a superhero when they grew up. And this literally blew my mind. I was like, 
What do you mean? You don't want to be Superman. What do you mean? You don't want to be Batman. You know, and, and then I find out that I was a weirdo. And I guess my whole point is that, um, I knew, I knew what was going on when I picked up the hammer, man. And, uh, I knew the shape the world was in. Granted, I, I didn't know, like, from the beginning of Comet Ice until now, how, snafu bar everything would be but it is hold on you're right tired of looking at the blue sun so let us switch it over if you don't mind oh and hopefully i'll get my technical problem solved soon because I feel guilty putting out videos that are subpar of the new standard. I really do shoot to make the greatest videos on YouTube. Like that is literally my goal with almost every video I make. I say, I want people to be like, damn, that was amazing. How did one guy do this? And one guy did it because he's been making videos his whole life, and he loves making videos, and he does everything he can. To make the best videos possible. Anyway, what was my whole point? I guess technically I don't have to have one. It's a Saturday night technical challenge hangout. Oh yeah, I just did want to say that things have been tough for me. And I want to thank everybody. You guys have been so supportive, so cool, so kind, so awesome, so amazing that, yeah, you're all the reason I do this. Uh, that and I love making videos. So, I really appreciate you guys, and, uh, I wouldn't do it, or I couldn't do it without y'all, to this point, you know, um, and, I don't know, man, I feel like we gotta, we're gonna make some major changes soon. Um, in the whole world. And, uh, um, still overwhelmed by the fact that everybody is so convinced that like, I don't know, does anybody remember the 90s? You know, like, in the 90s, everybody wasn't convinced that, holy shit, the New World Order is coming. And we're going to be like, slaves in a petri dish if we live. You know, the, 
the whole rapture, tribulation, the devil gets to rule the planet for a long time. That didn't exist. And at times it feels like nobody even read the book of Revelation because it says that the main ones who are orchestrating it and constructing it won't even get their day. Like it's over before their day even begins. And that another thing about like people talk about oh my god it's in the world. It's like yo bro the whole Bible says there will be a thousand years of peace. Alright? So, there ain't gonna be no end of the world until we've had a thousand years of peace. If you were going by the written word, then go by the written word. So, I just get tired and frustrated and fed up because never in, in all my years, in my super powerful imagination, I never imagined that so many people would quit and so many people would morph onto the negative that like the only possibilities we have in the future are negative like this like now i don't believe that at all like as i've mentioned in the previous videos that if we could unite as a family if earth could become one family that was functional we can do anything. We've already shown from caveman to rockets. We can do whatever we want. And that the main solution the best solution I've come up with is, uh, a uh, hundred year earth truce where no nation shall war against another nation and a global jubilee. And that some type of world system has to be in place. Uh, and it's the only solution I can come up with. If you got, I mean, we can't keep status quo forever. There has to be some type of a new system. And having every nation war against each other nation, like it's a risk game, cannot continue. Uh, can't continue at all. And if we don't do something, and if we don't do something soon, we're going to let other people decide what happens and that I still think the best possibility is you take all the best parts of the last 7,000 years of written history 
and then you erase the chalkboard completely, and then you create the greatest system for all people for all time. We take a step forward to the year 3000. And the thing is that it's like take peak oil. They literally lied to you guys and told you. Hey, we're running out of oil, bros. That's why it's so expensive. Hey, guess what? We're finding out now it oil at $20 a barrel, $30 a barrel. Apparently, there's way more oil than anybody has known, except for maybe 25 guys in the last 15 years. So that our entire economic system is built on perceived scarcity. And in truth, we have all the resources we could ever need. So we can do anything we want. You know, we can start pulling together asteroids and creating a planet. We can build mega cities on the moon. We can travel to the moons of Jupiter. Uh, but we can only do it together. And that. That is the everybody wins scenario. We save all, we save everything, everybody wins. And if somebody's got a better plan, I'd like to hear it because none of the depopulation plans would ever work. Now, You can put it out there, but I can pretty much debunk any depopulation theory of how it can work long term. As a lot of people, when they think of how something like that would happen, they don't think of it all through, they don't think it through, and that there's a lot of uh, capitalism and money going on, so that people are trying to sell you underground bunkers, or the people are trying to say, yes, this will work, uh, they don't have the vision that it would take to see the plan three days after it had been put through, a year after it had been put through. <clears throat> and you're also talking about the richest people on the planet having everything they want uh, and then having the population be reduced and that they literally have no one to rule over, like, 
Wait, so I'm getting off target. But, like, no matter what, if they did a depopulation thing, uh, mercenary would be king. The violence, any major misstep on the economy or depopulation, violence would rule would be the currency of the day and all the super rich would lose all their power and the warlords the most cruel of the cruel would be the kings so none of those things none of those ideas work none of those ideas will work the only idea that can work is all of us working together. And I've said before that I'm having a, having a big problem, a hard time with my fellow Christians because they are so set on waiting for the rapture or waiting for God to come and save us all that they aren't really doing anything to help change now to help come up with solutions they're too Busy waiting on the magic bus. Can it take them to heaven? And, uh, my theory has always been Jesus Christ died. So we're probably going to die too. That If the king of kings went through it, then I'll probably have to go through it too. Hopefully not anytime soon. Oh, also, did I mention that talking about all this stuff is dangerous? And, you know, there's a lot of times where people are like, you know, Thor loves NASA, Thor believes everything NASA says. It's like, A, it doesn't, I don't think you guys watch my videos. And B, most of the people who are kicking me or other people making videos out there, in the balls, they aren't making any video. So I don't know what you're doing to make this situation better. Um, other than putting us down. So if you think we're doing it wrong, why don't you show us how it's done? Why don't you tell the story? Uh, that convinces people to your way. And that's what I'm here trying to do. I'm here trying to convince people that, hey, being cool and staying cool is the way to go. That we're one Earth family. And that we have to get our shit together soon. Oh, we're in serious trouble. You know, that like, civilization is a fragile thing that hangs by a fragile thread. You know, I don't know, this, uh, 
rambly thing. And maybe I'm saying too much. But, you know, I mean, as these are just the days that we're with. And talking to you. Straight from the hip, straight from the heart. <sighs> and that, uh, there's one thing losing my sweet editing program has done. It's allowed me to just talk. Unedited, unfiltered, without second thoughts. I just make it and I put it up. And maybe that's bad, maybe that's good. But I'm just saying that the, I guess the core root of me in this channel is we're trying to solve our problems I recognize we're in deep shit people we can't seem to do a single thing well anymore And that everybody is divided and conquered. Everybody's all crazy, angry, mad about something. And at some point, we all gotta settle down, sit down. Calm down and come to the table. We all have to agree as sane people. We don't want civilization to collapse. We don't want mass depopulation. We don't want the end of the planet and the bubble to pop in World War Three. We all want a future and we all want a better future than the world we have now. Because to me, it, it has felt like since 9-11 in 2001 we have been ruled and run by Martians who hate Earthlings that if you take a step back and look at the grand global scheme of everything It doesn't seem to make sense, and it is very anti-human. Like the the weird fantasy of like a thousand of the richest people living on the planet and getting rid of everybody else. That would never work, and I guarantee you a thousand percent 99% of those people would miss us. They would miss walking by us on the streets. They would miss us serving them their food. They would miss us flying their helicopters. They would miss us in a million ways they never even realized. Because if there's one thing I think is kind of a, a fib or a lie, it's when people say, oh, he's a self-made man. 
There is no self-made man on this planet. You did not feed yourself when you were two years old. You did not teach yourself how to walk. You know, at five, you were not educating your only self. That everybody got to where they are by the help of a whole lot of people, alive and dead. And that at the end of the day, honestly, we're all lucky. And that, like I said, if we could just all calm down, See beyond the anger. See beyond what they're telling you to think. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I always stay away from invoking God and anything on a religious term because there's no faster hot button to get people mad and angry and disagreeing with you. But it's, it's the thing that I don't understand. As a very, very creative person and a very loving person and a very forgiving person when I think of God the idea of a, a petty God that wants you to go around punishing torturing killing human beings there's nothing farther from the truth that it only God can judge. So it's kind of the madness of uh, ISIS, if you will. You have all these guys who seem to be about 500 years behind us in thinking, thinking that God, Allah, wants these people to go around carpet bombing and suicide bombing groups of 30 until they win. Like, that's one of the most insane things I've ever heard, that, like, somehow, like, they don't even have, like, what's your goal? Get rid of the West. Well, you just taking away half the planet, man. That's it's not possible. It's not logical. It's not sane. And, and why are you doing this? Oh, because my God told me to do it. Whoa. Well, uh, you know, it's, I don't know, man. Saturday night ramble sessions. At least I can take solace in the fact that I guess nobody's listening this far, but I know it's hard to talk to people these days about the real serious stuff because we all know that religion is 
part of the main division amongst people. I mean, shoot. The Christian religion itself has 33,000 different denominations. So, Christians can't even agree on Christianity. So, in some way, we got to get everybody back from thinking they know exactly how God thinks. Because that's been one of our problems. We don't know. And at the end of the day, only God can judge. So, and that while everybody know, it grew in the 80s and then became with the mega church it continued to grow and when church became a very corporate very power structure uh it really just let go of greed man like that's what blew me away as a as a North Jedi Christian about all of this is that during all, especially during the like anti-gay stuff, it's like they're like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to freaking blab on and on and on about how much sin and sinners gay people are. We're just not going to talk about greed ever again. Which is crazy to me because it has been taught to us that money is the, the love of money is the root of all evil. So, it has never made any sense to me. But it does now because... Clearly, for thousands of years, they've been trying to pervert the word. I think in many ways they've succeeded. Like we we definitely want to, don't go on, we definitely don't want to get into that can of worms because I tell you, you know, that's, that's a passionate one. If you talk about the aspect of did God write the Bible, edit the Bible, and is every sentence in there exactly how God wants it to be? To communicate to his people. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. You need to study the printing press, you need to study the Catholic Church, you need to study uh, the burning of the Library of Alexandria, you need to study everything going back. Um, to, understand what we're trying to understand here and anyway I don't know I don't, I don't know what to say maybe I shouldn't have made this video I'm just talking man I need somebody to talk to and here you were and so here we are and I'm just saying we got problems and honestly, I'm trying to solve them. And people are saying, you're crazy. For, and people have been saying for a long time, Thor. T.
That's my first name, actually. It's the letter T. Uh, now I know. And, um, you're crazy for thinking you can make a difference or you can save civilization or help save it. I know I can't do it alone, but I'm saying, well, what other choice do we have? You know, like, we all, you know, I just can't give up. What type of life is that? So I'm just saying, I guess, unlike the, yeah, my week of being without my magic editing program. Here I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm a lot humbler than I was a week ago. I mean, not only that, I've been going through a lot of other stuff in real life. And I'm having some health issues. You know, and health is so freaking expensive. And... Truth be told, I don't like money. I've never liked money. It creates false kings and... You know, I don't know. We, people worship. We worship people who have money. And, um... And, I, and they're not always the, the best people, you know? Uh... So, what was my point? Uh, I guess my point was that I'm having technical difficulties and trying to fix them still. Maybe I'll get them fixed soon. Maybe I won't. But, here I am, trying. Talking to you. So here I, you know, I've let it all out. I've said what I want to say. Part of it, I'm sure I'll be talking more. And, uh, you know, if on any part you majorly disagree with it, then maybe it's time for me and you and the world news to part ways, because I'm really just trying to help. I'm really just trying to be part of the solution for everybody. And if that's not something you agree with, I guess we can't come to the table. But I have a feeling there's a lot of people out there who understand that what we're doing is good. And that at the end of the day, we, we don't have time to judge people anymore. Um, we have to figure out a solution as a group, you know, like trying to figure out You know, like, who God loves and who God doesn't love. Well, I'll tell you, God loves us all. And so, as I said in my other video, the main point is, let's not fail. Okay? Let's not let civilization collapse under our watch. That's all I'm asking. Anyway, peace out. God bless everyone. Talk to you soon.